please state your name. My name is Rachel Marianne Claymo. What is your current position? Currently, I am the interim program director for the Transitional Year Residency Program through Wayne State University located at Crittenden Hospital. I am also the associate program director for the Family Medicine Residency Training Program at the same institution. And I am a so full-time osteopathic family physician practicing full spectrum family medicine at the hospital, including inpatient medicine and obstetrics. Can you state some things about your clinical training and research training? So my clinical training was completed at the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine, which is in Kirksville, Missouri. After medical school, I did my residency training in family medicine at the West Suburban Medical Center, which is in Oak Park, Illinois. It's uh, a very near suburb of Chicago. My training was comprehensive, um, included obviously a lot of obstetrics, uh, critical care training, um, some research training, um, and I got to do a lot of my uh, rotations at places around the Chicago area, including Loyola and other university settings. And then my research training. Um, so no specific formal research training, although I completed a master's degree at Wayne State University prior to going to medical school. And in that community health services degree, um, I did take some statistical analysis courses as well as research methodology. And we did complete some research uh, as part of the program. What was your prior research exposure and experience? So in terms of prior research exposure, um, I've completed several projects, um, both individually and as part of a group. As part of the master's degree, we did a community study of the Woodbridge Historic District in, Chic or, I'm sorry, in the Detroit area. Um, as part of my residency training program, I did a multivariate analysis of predictors of past, or excuse me, of um, the acuity of respiratory illness in patients who had used opiates prior to coming to the hospital. Um, in order to earn my master's degree, I also did a survey study standing in the center of Wayne State's campus, um, and it is true, I did that, and it was about predicting passive smoking behavior amongst uh, college age, primarily uh, students at the time. When I was in residency, I already told you about that project, but after that, um, at the Adventist Hinsdale Family Medicine Residency, where I was first employed after completing residency, I worked with the residents as the director of research, and each resident was required to complete a formal IRB-approved research project, and those were varied. I worked with colleagues at Northwestern and other institutions to assist them with those projects from implementation to the formal research to analysis and presentation at a large research forum. So a lot of my recent research work has actually been on the mentorship side. Who has been your mentor? So the mentor that I'll have for this program will be Victoria Neal at Wayne State in the Department of Family Medicine. What do you hope to get from the program? Well, I hope to get better at give, doing videos because I don't think this is going super well, but we're going to go with it. Um, in addition, I, I really just hope to build some additional mentorship to get some more colleagues in research to get back a little bit to balancing better my own research endeavors with the things that I'll be helping the residents in the program do. And can you give one interesting fact about yourself? Well, an interesting fact about myself is that my parents are helping me record this video because at the end of June, I returned back to uh, Michigan, uh, coming home to have uh, the next portion of my career here. So it's been a homecoming for me. And since being home, I have also made an incredible journey to Croatia for two weeks. And I'll end this program by telling you how you say cheers in Croatian, which is Vala.